You went to China. You got, you're, you're traveling a lot, but you were in China. I've never been to China. Tell me what that's like. Okay, let me just tell you, because you're like 19 feet tall. Right. You and I, I my makeup artist and I went, and she has burgundy hair. Mm -hmm. We were the only two black people in China, and it was like Brad and Angelina. We were at the Great Wall, and it's great because it's really long. Right, you know? right. That's why it's called the Great Wall. Because yeah. um, <laughs> it's greatly long. And I'm not kidding. People were just, the double takes, walk, bumping into each other, like, it was like a domino effect. I said, you know, Val, I've seen enough of the Great Wall. If we keep going, people are going to die. Yeah. So let's just stop right here. They were that freaked out? They, they, they weren't freaked out. They're the nicest people, but it was literally like, <laughs> and they're still walking and then bumping into the next person. It's like, this is amazing. It was There's hilarious. a lot of them. There was, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It was hilarious. So they just weren't, so that you're not seeing a lot, there's not a lot of black people walking around in China, is what not you're saying. Too Notice. Yeah, I, I felt was, great. When I was a little kid, my dad had, uh, he's a you know, scientist, and he took me on, down to South America, and I had bright orange hair, two dead teeth in my front, and <laughs> like, bright freckles, and my mom gave me a madras jacket just before I went, and he took me from city to city, and everywhere I went, people would come up and just touch my face and my <laughs> hair like I had just come from the circus. And I, it's I, true. I it's so weird. It's so true. I, I have to tell you, it was like, wow, this is kind of, I guess, Wow, this is fascinating. But they were like the nicest people. It was hilarious, though. I was uh, a hit in China. You were a hit, yeah. Uh, in the Red, Red Band Society, produced by Steven Spielberg, you were nervous to meet him. I was nervous to meet him. I met him uh, when we were doing the help. And, well, I kind of, I did meet him. Eventually, I worked up the nerve. But you know how you think you're like across the room and you're looking alluring? And I'm going to work up, I'm going to go say hello now. But apparently, I was like, I'm gonna go say hello now. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. That my friend came over and she's like, what is happening? What's going on with the eyes? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you look like a crazy person. <laughs> you were staring at Steven I, Spielberg? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm gonna go say hello right, I'm work, I'm doing it. I'm going right now, right now. And, and Yeah, that looks almost like you're gonna attack him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vibe you're putting out. I kinda did, I kinda, you know, grabbed him in a bear hug because you think you know people because they've, you know, been You in your... grabbed him? I did. I was like, hello, how are you? I love you so much. Oh, God, I did it. Yeah. Did you, were you did you act that way? Because I know when you first met Oprah, I've heard that you were very excited. What did you do to Oprah? I just, I get real excited. I, uh, I did the same thing, and of course, I sweat profusely because I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. And Oprah has that calming voice, and she was terrified, but it was, how are you? We are okay. We're great. <laughs> It's so nice to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm terrifying Oprah. You gotta calm it down, calm it down. Bring it down, Spencer, bring it down. She has that, she thinks she can calm, like if she was in a wolf attack, she would just start talking to the wolves. <laughs> and they would go, oh, oh, oh. Exactly, they would just calm it down. Exactly, calm wow. it down.